Who wants cotton candy? I bet you liked asking your mom during childhood whenever you were taking your Sunday playground session with your friends in the park. And even if you don't, you're probably aware of this pile of fluffy spun sugar wrapped around a stick, typically pink or white. It's so sweet, yummy, and most of the time we adore it, especially when it's in the shape of a flower or your favorite animal. However, you should be alarmed when you see something in your aquarium that looks precisely like cotton candy because it's no longer something you should adore of. You should be worried because you might face white algae in your tank. Have you never heard of it and never seen one before? Don't worry, you will never see it inside your tank if you keep watching this video. Today, in Aquarium Store Depot, we will discuss what white algae are, the reasons for their appearance in your tank, and most significantly, how to get rid of them. All you have to do is to sit back and relax, because we'll make your fish keeping hobby sweet again on this topic. Anyone who has an aquarium loathes having green algae there. If you agree with me, go on and comment below. But you can be even more perplexed when you notice something that appears to be white algae. The phrase white algae is inaccurate. Its plant-like appearance, which covers aquarium decor and gives hobbyists headaches, gave rise to the moniker of this species. White algae, sometimes known as white mold, is more likely to be a collection of filamentous fungus-like creatures than actual algae. But you might be confused about why it's not algae when it acts and looks like one. Well, let me explain it to you. A collection of eukaryotic living, beings with a nucleus and membrane-bound organelles that employ photosynthetic processes to obtain energy from the sun, is known as algae. Algae can be found in various known species and variants, in freshwater, saltwater and brackish habitats. Algae are a standard component of any aquatic system and aren't necessarily harmful, but they are undesirable in home fish tank setups. However, it can eventually reduce light penetration, smuggle in other aquarium plants and corals, and become unattractive. While some types of algae growth are simple to manage, others quickly take over an aquarium. Rhodophyta, Chlorophyta and Heterocontophyta are the only three major groups of algae. Red algae are known as Rhodophyta, green algae are known as Chlorophyta, and brown algae are known as Heterocontophyta. You can notice that white algae are not mentioned, even though these correlated hues don't always identify the right kind of algae. So, if it's not algae, what is your aquarium's fuzzy stuff? If you notice a thick, white, slimy sheen on your freshwater fish tank's new driftwood or other aquarium decorations, white algae may be the problem. We proved that white algae are a fungus and not an authentic algae. This indicates that it does not benefit from intense illumination or abundant nutrients. We'll discover that it results primarily from the accessibility of carbohydrates. But don't be concerned. White algae is frequently a standard component of the tank's dynamic ecosystem and is safe for aquarium fish and invertebrates. The emergence of white algae in your fish tank is its main drawback. It's crucial to remember that there are a few additional causes for the white fuzzy growth in your freshwater aquarium. Others are not as harmless or simple to manage as white algae. If you want to know the reasons behind the existence of this ugly thing in your tank, stay tuned because after you give us a thumbs up and smash the subscribe button, the list of reasons will be unraveled soon. I see you're done, so let's get it on. White algae growth in your freshwater fish tank can be attributed to two main factors. White algae frequently grow near freshly added driftwood and other organic objects in aquariums. Let's talk more about the causes. The spread of white algae in aquariums is one of the main issues new hobbyists encounter. With or without fish, this can occur concurrently throughout the nitrogen cycle. Beginner hobbyists may begin to see an ugly white coating on their new driftwood a few days after introducing it to the tank. As a result, the entire structure is covered in a thick, white or translucent slime film. This can quickly start to cause concern, as you might expect. You might ask, the driftwood is new, so why do white algae grow over it? The answer is this. 
Hobbyists must remember that anything they put in fish tanks impacts the ecology. This is especially true when adding organic materials to the aquarium, such as filter media from another tank, plants, wood or ornaments. Unfamiliar organics are introduced to the aquarium in the case of driftwood. The helpful bacteria that keep your aquarium healthy are determined to protect it from outside dangers and are also very drawn to carbs. They begin to break them down and process them as a result. This causes white algal fungus to flourish and causes hobbyists needless stress. Establishing stability now is preferable rather than rushing to get rid of the white algae. But there are a few ways to get rid of white algae before it disappears naturally if you can't see it. These techniques include dosing aquarium products, physical removal and bringing in a cleanup crew. Now that we already highlight how to eliminate them, let's discuss them in more detail. The first thing you can do to get rid of white algae is through manual removal. That's right, fish keepers! Let's set aside our disgust first. Persistence and physical removal are the best strategies to deal with any algae issue in freshwater and saltwater aquariums. This is valid for a white algae issue if you want to take action. We are unable to make up truths. It's sticky and slimy to get rid of white algae. The afflicted driftwood should be removed from the tank and the algae should be lightly detached with a toothbrush or cleaner. To clean the driftwood, get a bucket and fill it with fish tank water. Remember that these bits of driftwood contain healthy germs which you want to disturb as little as possible. Using untreated water, such as tap water, could destroy the existing bacteria and cause much more issues than the formation of undesired white algae. It is strongly advised to use an aquarium vacuum to help remove any detached pieces of white algae that may have fallen into the water column when the white algae were being removed from the main fish tank display. When moved to other aquarium areas, white algae won't self-produce as different types of algae do. However, removing any potential rotting organic debris that can cause other problems is advised. The second way you can consider this is through getting a cleanup crew. It's not a human cleanup crew, fish keepers, but instead another batch of aquatic species that you'll love having eventually. If you have white algae, your freshwater aquarium is probably just getting started. You should eventually add a cleanup team and algae eaters to keep your aquarium system functioning. Rather than being a quick fix for your aquarium's algae issues, a cleanup crew should be viewed as a natural component of the ecosystem that aids in removing decomposing organic matter before it has a chance to impact water quality. Snails and shrimp won't consume fish waste, so keep that in mind. Despite being excellent at what they do, freshwater snails and shrimp can breed quickly and increase the aquarium's overall bioload. However, some algae eaters are indeed perfect. The Otto Sinkless genus contains some of the most effective algae eaters. These fish will quickly clear out a tank because they are voracious eaters of green algae. However, only more seasoned fish keepers are advised to use them because of their green appetite, which can quickly cause food shortages. They also won't deal with the growth of white algae. Third is, of course, by purchasing effective aquarium products. It is never a good idea to use aquarium solutions to cure algae issues, and it is especially not a good idea to remove white algae from the fish tank. There are several simple fixes if you're in a rush to have your tank clean and white algae free. Algae issues in freshwater and saltwater aquariums can be effectively treated with hydrogen peroxide, a standard household product. Particularly, spot treat using a solution of one gallon of water and 3 cc of 3% hydrogen peroxide. When the machinery is off, inject the affected region with a turkey baster or syringe. Seacum Flourish XL is the other product for aquariums that is easily accessible. This organic carbon is bioavailable and functions as an algicide. The theory is that by adding a supplement, different plant species will outcompete the algae, causing the algae to perish. Although this is primarily intended for pest algae, like green hair algae, it has also been successful with white algae. Even after your algae problem has been resolved, Seachum Flourish Excel might be an excellent supplement if you intend to retain aquarium plants for a long time. And the last thing you can do is nothing. I'm dead serious. 
Doing nothing could also help remove white algae, and here's how. Remember that white algae are produced when advantageous bacteria feed on fresh organic materials, including carbohydrates, that enter the ecosystem. This indicates that these are finite resources that will eventually run out. Most white algae development ceases in a few weeks and any leftover coverage disappears by the end of the month. We advise carrying on routine fish tank upkeep, such as using an aquarium vacuum, to hasten the process. Feel free to suck up any stray white algae while inside the aquarium. To avoid poor water quality, try to remove any food waste and other accumulated debris on top of the algae. However, as I said earlier, driftwood is not the only reason white algae is evident in your tank. It could be due to dead algae. Here's why. Dead algal fragments can occasionally turn white. This is especially relevant if chemicals used to cure excessive growth result in untimely death. White algae are not aquarium fish, and other invertebrates frequently consume any leftovers. So there is no sense in trying to treat them like fish. If not, a reliable mechanical filtering system will cover the remainder. There are times when white algal growth indicates genuine algae growth. This is evident in calcareous algal species, like Halimeda. Halimeda is the truest white algae species on our list, a saltwater algae genus that develops a firm white skeleton beneath its fleshy green covering. When Halimeda dies, the white frame may also be revealed. If driftwood or dead algae aren't the cause of the cottony growth, you may have first recognized the wrong issue. Stranger things have happened, yet it's improbable that a new kind of algae will appear in your fish tank. We must comprehend the causes of algae if we are to address it. Three factors primarily influence algae development. Let me show it on your screen. Let me highlight them all for you. A lot of light is required in fish tanks, but only a little. Additionally, they need a harmony of photoperiod, spectrum and intensity. Regrettably, any of these causes or a combination of them can result in algae. Furthermore, if you aren't routinely evaluating the parameters, it can be challenging to determine your system's water and tank conditions. Even if everything is fine one day, high phosphate and nitrate levels can lead to algae bloom the following day. Last but not least, many novice hobbyists fail to assess the quality of their source water, forcing them to perform additional fish tank maintenance that adds extra nutrients, you're still seeking more of this information, so it'll be best to visit our official website at www.aquariumstoredepot.com where plenty of information about these three main influences was posted in detail. Despite what many people think, there is no such thing as white algae. However, if you notice white growths on newly added driftwood in the aquarium, you most likely have a harmless fungus on your hands that will eventually go away. You can manually remove the algae and keep the tank clean if you don't want to wait for it to disappear over a few weeks. Add algae eaters or employ chemical intervention. But we believe it's best to leave things alone because we at Aquarium Store Depot will never leave you at a time like this. I hope you learned a lot about white algae fish keepers. If you start noticing white fuzz growing on the body or fins of your fish, you might be dealing with other problems. To know which it could be, visit our official website to learn more. Also, remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel where plenty of videos were uploaded. If you found this video interesting, leave a comment below. You can also share your white algae experience with us and connect to other viewers of this channel. I'll see you again, fish keepers. Thank you for watching.